So I just received an amazing YouTube comment where my uh, subscriber asked me, can you use Kartra as a CRM like Salesforce and some of the more pricey CRMs out there? And what does that exactly look like? And I'm happy to say that I never thought about it, but yes, you absolutely can. And in this quick video, I want to show you how and why I think this might even be a better way of doing it. So let me go ahead and preface this by saying I don't use Sa uh, Salesforce or some of those tools. When I was in corporate America, we had some of that functionality. But I want to give you what I understand the CRM needs to be, and everyone's going to have unique needs. So this may not work for you, but go ahead and follow along and be the judge yourself. Okay, so here I am inside the communications area of Kartra, and what I did was I looked at my leads. I'm not going to show you all the leads in this account. This is a test account, but there's some information that I should not be sharing. So if you look at one of the leads and you click on them, you get brought into this is kind of what I would call like the CRM hub of Kartra. So for a particular lead, you get all this data, this rich data because all of Kartra's information is bound together and integrated nicely together, you get a lot of different information at a glance. And if there's something that it doesn't show that you would need, I would like to know what that is because this seems very, very full of, of you know, information. It's everything I think you would need. So you have their data, you know, if, even which affiliate brought them into your system where country they're coming from, preferred time zone, all sorts of information. They actually fill this out when they're booking calls with you. Uh, like a CRM, you want to be able to keep a note running with each of your leads to kind of know what's going on, where they're at in the process. So you might be able to say, just had a strategy call, follow up in 10 days. <clears throat> And so if you have a team and you're working through a lot of different uh, you know, big ticket deals where you really want to work each person individually, this note section can be huge. You don't need to have a Google Doc or um, a Trello board or anything like that. You can simply go off of this. Here's a little pro tip. If you are in that business model where you're working um, high ticket clients, let's say you want to keep track of where people are at in your pipeline. I know Active Campaign and some of the other CRMs that are very well known, they'll have that kind of slider or that uh, Trello board where you can move people along a path. You can do something very similar in Kartra. Essentially, what you could do is create a set of tags that would show where they're at in your pipeline. And so we could just add a tag directly here from their profile. And we could say, um, you might want to create a new category. So let's say we'll create a tag and we'll call this uh, pipeline warm lead. Uh, just had a call, not booked yet or whatever. And then uh, let's create a new category and we could create a category of tags called pipeline management. And this would be kind of how your CRM is working. And what's cool about this is let's say you only want a lead to be considered warm for two weeks or that might even be too much. Let's just say this tag has an expiration date of seven days. So one week after one week is there, they're no longer warm. So we'll go ahead and create this. Alrighty. And so we'll add this tag pipeline warm. And we'll add it and boom you're right back to where you were um that that wasn't a, a created in my account this is how intuitive this is guys all right so we have the warm lead and now what could happen is if this goes away we can do other automations that will trigger what should happen when somebody is no longer a warm lead i'll show you that at the end of the video remind me so I don't forget but while you're here you can see a ton of information for example if they've made purchases from you how much have they purchased and you can then create automations where if they purchase more than let's say a hundred dollars from you you can add them to a different echelon of of or a different list or a different tag and again all that would be visible here also score if you're doing point system which i think is really cool um, every time they open an email they might earn some points and so you can see their score value there as well <clears throat> you can see which lists they belong to if any which emails they've received um, from your email newsletter that's works with Kartra email or SendGrid or uh, Elastic Email. I made a recent tutorial showing how you can use Elastic Email to increase the number of emails you can send through Kartra. You can check that video out in the description below. If they're a part of a current automation or a current sequence, I call them automations because that's because I'm used to seeing them. But if they're part of one of those visual uh, wait two days, get an email, wait three days, send them this offer, all that sort of thing. You can see where they're at and what step they're in. This is really cool. So if they're on step seven, you can see that directly there. So you'll know when you need to engage them or not. <clears throat> if they're part of any memberships or courses you have, if they've booked any time with you, uh, which what's the, the agenda for this lead and kind of what's going on with them there. Any purchases they've made, again, this is just a, a randomly picked person. There'd be a lot more rich data in the real business account. Um, but what transactions they've already made for you. 
and then the log this is where it's like on steroids so you can see not just like what they've clicked on but you can see every page they've visited every video they've played uh, you can if they were to have um, let's say for example in a video if they watch to the end you add a tag to them you'd be able to see that in the timeline in the breadcrumb trail of that entire customer's journey to where you ultimately are here where you can see it's real time I added the warm lead tag on this video and you can see that tag being assigned in the system here so everything here is is pretty awesome and then lastly um, how often do you actually get to see all the individual communications in the tool itself so the back and forth the tickets the help desk the support chat you can actually see that here so you can see what how many tickets they've had and I'd like to open up a ticket here uh, but you'll be able to see all that here in a single dashboard which will be hugely helpful for you if you run with a team if you have support personnel if you want to be able to have people handle your refunds have people handle your client outreach or closing sales uh, Kartra could be that solution for you to simplify some things remove some cost of Salesforce and some of the more uh, heavyweight CRM systems out there and still achieve what it is that you need to achieve. So this is a quick little video. I wanted to go and make that response to the comment. Absolutely. From what I understand, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management System. Probably should have started with that. And so from this, you can see so much about the relationship between you and your customer or leads in the Kartra platform that Depending on your needs, it's probably going to cover 80% of the population and what they need for their small business. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit a thumbs up for the video, and leave a comment on what you want me to discuss next here on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, John here again. So I told you to remind me uh, about creating automations based on the actions done in the CRM earlier in the video, and you forgot to remind me. So here I am during editing. I see that I've messed that, uh, messed that up. So here we are in the automations area, and I want to show you what a workflow could be as a CRM, where in the previous example, we just added a warm lead tag onto one of our contacts. So what happens if that tag expires? So if seven days go by and they haven't been moved to customer or whatnot, they're going to lose the tag warm lead. So let's just show what could happen here, where <clears throat> as an automation, we'll go into new automations and say, if the lead is unassigned a tag, and this was under the pipeline management that we had created as part of the previous example. So if they unassigned the pipeline warm lead tag, then we could do a couple of things. We could send an email. Um, we could subscribe them to an entire automation sequence, give them points or take away points, do a ton of different things. But in this simple example, let's just call them a, a cold lead now. So they're a pipeline, but we want to give them a cold lead. So we'll assign a tag. If, if seven days have, has elapsed and we haven't taken them off of that on our own, we want to go ahead and go to pipeline management and let's create a tag since we don't have any additional tags here. And we'll create one and we'll call it pipeline cold lead hasn't taken action in seven days and we'll give this the category of pipeline management okay and uh, similarly you can give the tag an expiration date of a few days and whatnot but we'll just leave this as uh, unexpirable to show you some differences as well as once they're cold they can't really get any colder okay so we'll go ahead and add that rule so now if the lead no longer is a warm lead because the expiration built into that previous automation then we'll assign them to a cold lead and that will allow us as we save this we'll then be able to look at all, all of our leads by tag and like a CRM we can go through and look at specific categories so let's go here to categories and come to pipeline management and we can see how many leads are within each one of the categories and you can use your imagination of setting up a workflow where associates or your team members can go through and say hey if there's a hot lead and maybe you say if if they were a warm lead and they get a certain number of points on your point management system you can create them a hot lead and as soon as that happens you can send a not notification email to your team member to give them a call and close them you can see how powerful of a CRM you could create using some creativity some nice tagging and Kartra's deep integration throughout all of its platform. So I hope this was helpful. Again, John from IncomeMesh.com. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.